wide world of sports presentation of the historic cricket telecast from South Africa, proudly sponsored by Toyota, Medibank Private, Double AMI, and Caltex. And we say welcome to Eastern States viewers for the fourth day's play here at Newlands between South Africa and Australia. The situation in the game, Australia making 435 in reply to South Africa's 361. A lead of 74 and uh, established through some fairly consistent batting with David Boone top scoring, 96. Steve Waugh playing extremely well, continuing in good form. Steve Waugh, he made 86. 61 to Ian Healy. During that innings, he passed 2,000 test runs to go with his uh, 200 dismissals. Mark Taylor back into the Australian side after a virus kept him out of the uh, first test match, making 70. So that's the way uh, Australia compiled that 435, taking a 74 run lead. Lindsay Cronier just padding that one away and uh, in their second innings South Africa have reduced the deficit by 33 for the loss of Gary Kirsten. Kirsten out LBW to Shane Warne in his first over. Shane Warne completing a maiden with the wicket of Gary Kirsten there. Hudson is on 19. Cronier has just come to the crease. Plays two balls and it's one for 33. So 41 behind Still South Africa with nine second innings wickets in hand. It's going to be Craig McDermott to continue. And he's coming from the Weinberg end. Australia uh, started the day with five wickets down. Ian Healy was the first man to go. It was a very good performance from uh, Healy and Steve Waugh to put on as many runs as they did. But this was the start of a, an absolute crash for the Australians. They lost uh, five for 17. Healy out just before lunch. It was a fairly soft sort of dismissal after the way he'd played. He had some beautiful strokes, lovely drives and cuts and uh, one or two pull shots. Well, that's a good delivery from McDermott. Finding a bit of lift. Healy was out with a score at 6 for 418. As we see uh, McDermott getting a bit of lift from outside off stump. Some of the deliveries have been staying down from around that area. So McDermott with his ability to maintain a good line around off stump. Really could, uh, along with Shane Warne, cause the South African batsman a few problems. So Ian Healy went for 61 just before lunch. Australia had started at 5 for 336. That was 6 for 418. And the next ball after Ian Healy was out, Merv Hughes was gone. No doubt about this one. Merv didn't look very happy about it, as you would tend not to if uh, you've just marched out of the centre and had to march back without actually uh, getting a bit of willow onto the leather. And he was gone and Matthews was on a hat-trick. Very good performance from Matthews. He came back well. So did South Africa. They were looking at a deficit of 150, and uh, they came back to keep it down to manageable proportions. Move was gone at seven for 418. The next man out was Steve War. This was uh, the middle of a very good spell from Craig Matthews. Yes, that was very well bowled. That was one of those uh, Ian was talking about. It's uh, kept down. Didn't hit, uh, didn't even hit halfway up uh, the stumps there. 
and got past the outside edge of uh, Steve Waugh's bat. But Matthews persevered. He bowled a good line and length and was in very close to the stumps. That one nearly crept under as well. Very important little session this up to tea time. Q end of the bat there for Andrew Hudson. Won't fill him with uh, complete confidence. Right on the bottom of the bat. Steve Waugh, the man uh, we showed you in the last dismissal there, played a lovely innings today for Australia. Super performance, 86 he made. Faced uh, just 164 balls. Played some wonderful shots and uh, his technique looked very good. Single to Hudson, it's one for 34. Deficit now 40 for South Africa. Hudson on 20. Cronier to face his third delivery. And Alan Border asking if he wants uh, someone else in close. Border. He's coming across to uh, short cover by the look of it. So really going on the attack now as we uh, near tea time at Newlands. Also a good idea. Craig McDermott.